commodity space. Manisha is joining in today and we're focusing on palm oil. Manisha, what's happening here? Well, yes, uh, you know, there has been a lot of news on edible oil in the last couple of weeks, and that is because it's one of the essential commodities. We also saw government hike uh, import duty by 20% for the crude and the refined edible oils, including palm as well, with an expectation that the international markets perhaps will come down and it would all work out well for the Indian farmers, consumers, and the industry as well. Instead, what we have seen is that the international prices have continued to run up, and the latest reports suggest that Indian refiners, because of this, have cancelled nearly 100,000 tons of of palm oil which was anticipated to be coming into the country between October to December. Now the duty hike and the global prices hiking has led to profit booking by many of these importers here. Palm oil prices globally have surged up above 4,000 Malaysian ringgit and the prices are now trading at a 12-week highs up nearly 7% on week and that clearly doesn't work in sense of importing it with the kind of rise in prices that we have seen. Also the strong EU demand uh, also ahead of the deforestation norms that played place in December 2024 has been another reason that you have seen the global palm oil prices continue to rise up. Well, the markets are also looking at very strong numbers coming in from Malaysia, where the exports have gained up by 9%. Indian markets will be looking at imports in any case going forward because this is festival season. As of now, there are enough and more supplies. But come the next month, which is October and November, you would be looking at imports. So overall, the, the feeling really is or the context is that you could be looking at higher edible oil prices in the last quarter of this year, which is also the festival season, by the way. Manisha, thanks a lot for summarizing all things palm oil this morning. For Thank you for that update. Shifting